A few miles south of downtown Boston, just off Interstate 93 in the city of Quincy, is a unique park where the public is welcome to hike, picnic, bird watch, and climb around on the rocks, as I did on a rappelling lesson led by Lydia Glenn with REI Co-op's Local Experiences Program. The 22-acre Quincy Quarries Reservation comprises three former granite quarries, the largest of which has mostly been filled with material from Boston's Big Dig Highway project. From 1825 through the early 1900s, quarrying was a major industry in Quincy, which at one point supported over 50 active quarries and innumerable granite shops. After quarrying operations ceased at the Granite Railway, Badger, and Swingles quarries, the quarry pits filled with ground and rainwater, making them popular hangouts and swimming holes. And it didn't take long for local rock climbers to take advantage of the quarry's sheer granite walls. Uh, we're going to get our uh, harnesses on to start. And I like to grab the leg loop with my right hand and the waist loop, and then just stick my foot right in, okay. pull it on like a pair of pants. Quick orientation on the harness. So in front here, you're going to have a loop, that blue loop. That's your belay loop, and that can hold a lot of weight. Hang a car right off of that. Yep. Okay. So that's what we're going to use for any time that we're taking body weight. Mm -hmm. And then on the sides here, you have a couple of gear loops. Yours are a little further back. Those are just for gear. They'll probably only take about five kilograms, so you don't want to hang your body off of that, but it's great for hanging your carabiners or mm -hmm. any equipment. All right, so you have your repel device. If you look at the side here, there's a little picture of a hand. It's a little faint, but I think you can see it on yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that hand side is standing for your brake hand. That's the hand that's going to control your descent. To test it, I want to take out any slack. So I'm going to kind of walk forward and pull this up. And then when it's in this downward position, see how this added a bend to the rope? Yes. That's going to really give me a lot of control over my descent. See if you can keep your full body on it, full body weight on it the whole time. So lean back. Yep. And then as you go back, just slowly walk. Oh, I see. Walk it. Yep. Keep it weighted. Okay. All right. You, you happy with that? Super happy. <laughs> yeah, I've been guiding rock climbing for about three years. I started climbing myself uh, about six years ago, um, just with friends, and uh, it kind of grabbed me. The things I love about guiding are, well, for this class specifically, for teaching folks how to rappel, um, it's just uh, such a cool thing to take folks who've never been even maybe near the, the top of a cliff and uh, help them get over that initial fear and just have a, a really fun time. All right, I think I'm ready to go. I've checked all my systems, all my lockers are locked. Here I go. After my successful first descent, Lydia decided I was ready for a bigger challenge. So we decamped and re-rigged the ropes above a nearby section of the quarry with a slightly higher elevation. All right, let's check everything. So your hand is on the hand side. This is locked. This is locked. That's locked. This is me. I've got yep, you here. Okay. So. And you're fully on you. See how I have slack on my side? Yep. And so that's how I found myself quite literally at the end of my rope in the Quincy Quarries, getting a very immersive look at an important part of New England history in a city that has plenty of history to share. Thank you for watching. For more exclusive video content, including short films, episodes, and features, be sure to click the subscribe button and look for us on social media at Explore New England Films.